hi guys welcome back again to my channel today we are talking about something sweet something juicy but before that <laughs> let me just do a quick intro introduction of myself again in case you don't know me my name is Dami Lima I'm a Lagos based youtuber living and based in Lagos Nigeria and um, I do basically travel vlogs, event vlogs, um, restaurant reviews and all those stuff. But today we are doing a story time. Yes, guys, we are doing a story time. Okay, before we get into that video, please, if you're here for the first time, if you're new here or if you've been coming and you've not subscribed, please subscribe, please like the videos, please share if you don't mind doing that. And just enjoy and let's have fun together. So, guys, let's get into this video. If you find the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days, I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. All right, guys, today I'm going to be sharing a story about one time when I, I was a side chick. <laughs> I didn't know, please don't come for me. I didn't know I was a side chick. I was just like loving up and all mushy and all into the relationship, not knowing I was eating myself. Like, I was dating someone that had another relationship, like, and had a serious girlfriend somewhere else. The girl was not living in Nigeria at that time, but the guy was living in Nigeria, we were living in the same state, and I was loving up, I was loving, you know, we met through a friend, and at the beginning, okay, let me just put characters to this, okay, there is there any need for characters, because it's just one person we're dealing with, so... I won't be mentioning anybody's name, I won't be mentioning names, so let's just go on with the flow. <laughs> so, I met this guy through a friend and he got my number from a friend. I think he saw my picture on, on my friend's... Um, on my friend's WhatsApp display picture. I don't know where he got the picture, where he saw the picture and he got the number from his friend who happens to also be my friend. That one is even another story for another day because that, that one too, there's another story. <laughs> there's another gist to the guy too, but that one is for another day. So this guy got my number from his friend and we started talking, we started chatting. At the beginning, I was not really feeling him, to be honest. At the beginning, I was just, let's just go on with the flow because before I met him, I also had, I was also in a relationship and things were not really working out well between myself and the person I was dating at, at that time because of distance and you know long story so fine I met someone else that was in my state and I was already liking him he was liking me as he said <laughs> he was liking me I was liking him and you know we just started talking we started Okay, we started seeing, we started going out together, we started hanging out once in a while. And, you know, when you hang out with people, I think when you just, it's just normal for when, for you to like, get attached to somebody, especially when you see the person often, you go out with the person, and you know, stuff like that. So I started becoming attached to this guy. I started becoming like, close to him and, you know, Within, I think, a month or two months, we, he asked me out and we started dating. So, <laughs> so we started dating and, you know, he was always advising me. You know those kind of guys that they'll be advising you. They, you, they, they, they will just treat you like you, you, are, you are their friend, their sister. Like, it was very protective. It was loving. He called me often. Like, at the beginning of the relationship, guys, this guy used to call me, like, back to back to back. He used to call me so much. Like, you know, like, he was calling me and was pestering me like some other guys used to do. But he was calling me. He called me because I like when people, like, I like having conversations with people I'm dating. Like, I like to talk. I like to have, I talk a lot and I want someone that, 
can also like you know be on the same page on the same level with me so <laughs> me and this guy we started talking we started dating and at the beginning of the relationship he was calling me so much you know he was always telling me what he was up to i would tell him what i was up to at that time you know we're just having fun we're going out together we're having lunch together we're having dinner sometimes he was taking care of me basically not like taking care of me because i don't even think he ever gave me anything oh even on my birthday when okay we're not dating already on my birthday but I don't think I got anything tangible from this guy, but like anything, I'm not saying, I'm, when I mean anything tangible, I mean monetary stuff or gift or those things. I don't think he ever gave me any gifts, to be honest. This guy, <laughs> anyways, let's get back to the gist. <laughs> this guy was like, you know, always, always there when you need him. Like, and those things were very important to me. If you call him, tell him how you're feeling. He will like be there he will be there to respond he will be there to answer and it was just always there but almost every girl wants <laughs> so this guy after a few months i think we dated for a total of six months or less <laughs> after a few months of dating the first month was fine sweet you know all good, all rosy. I met his friends, you know, those friends that be calling you our wife, even when the relationship is just one month or two months. I met his friends, a couple of his friends. I met his best friend. I met a few of his friends, you know. And I felt, oh, you know, this relationship is going far. I was already picturing our wedding day, like, I was already picturing how our kids will look. <laughs> I was deceiving myself. <laughs> I was deceiving myself. I was deceiving myself because after a few months of dating, this guy, after like the second month of dating this guy, it started to change because this guy was always loving, always calling me. You know, we could talk on the phone for 30 minutes, 40 minutes, one hour sometimes. And we never like ran out of things to say. We're always like, we always had things to talk about. And at that time in my life, I was having like, I was in a stage where I was not sure of what to do with my life. I don't know if that is the word, but I was having a lot of like ups and downs not ups and downs i was just basically confused about a lot of things in my life at that time and you know as a young graduate i was fresh out of school i just started my service and or before my service i think i met him before my service and you know we're just cool we're having it everything was fine so after a few months after like two months of dating this guy he started to change. He started to like show me his real self, and I became I became like confused. I became unsure of what was happening. I he, he started. He, he was not calling me as much. If I call him, he would say he's busy, or he would just look for excuse and excuse. One, he was just giving one excuse to another, and I was not having it. I was like having. I was getting fed up i was getting tired so i said when i started noticing that i was a side chick i know i was never noticing i was a side chick i actually thought the girl was a side chick at that time when i started noticing something was up was when i started to see him put up a particular girl's picture on his whatsapp status as in he was always putting was always putting the girl actually it was always putting this girl's picture up on his whatsapp status like and okay fine it, it could put up his mom's picture his sister's picture or whatever and the next picture that will follow is that particular girl's picture so i was worried i didn't know this girl as your family member i've never seen a picture of her of her and i've never like you've never told me about her being maybe your cousin or anything 
So, as a curious girlfriend that I was, I sent one day, I, I think I was at his place. I can't remember if I was at his place or I was, or I just sent him a message. I sent him a message and I was like, guy, <laughs> who is this girl? Like, I think he put the girl's picture at that time. And I was like, guy, who is this girl? Like, you're always putting this girl's picture. And I was like, oh, she's just a friend. She's just a friend. She's just... And I'm like, ah. You don't even put up my picture. Like, I don't think you've ever put up my picture on your WhatsApp. And you're always putting up this girl's picture. I was worried. I was, I was like, asking him, what's up? What's going on? Like, you can't be, you can't, you cannot just be straight. Can't you just be straight with me? Like, I was not having it. And, as God may have it. <laughs> After all oh, my complaint, because I was, it was like I was complaining too much. And three months into relationship, I think the fourth month of our relationship, he just told me that it was not like okay with the fact that I was always complaining about one thing or the other. I was always like complaining about him putting up pictures of girls, can't he have female friends? And I'm like, you can't have female friends that I don't know about. You're putting up pictures of a girl, a particular girl, several times and like, I was not having it, guys. I was really not having it. So, eventually, we broke up. <laughs> I didn't even know I was a side chick at that time. In my head, I was like, oh, okay, let's just break up. It was, he thought I was complaining too much. And he was not having it for me. He was not having it with me. And I was also not having it. The relationship was, it was too young to be, like, in that kind of situation, that kind of state. So, we broke up. So, a few, I think a few months after, because my brother knew him and, you know, a few months after, I, my brother met him at an event and, you know, as guys, guys are always cool with each other. They exchange contacts, they were going to do a business together and I, I can't really remember how, those, how that matter went. So my brother invited me, long and short, my brother invited me for an event also. It was a church program and my brother invited me for that church program. At, at, at this time, I had not seen him since after our breakup and that was like over like a month after or almost two months after our breakup. So I met him at this event, this church event and I'm like, this guy, I've never known you to be a church person, but that was fine. <laughs> I met him at the church event and you know the church event was supposed to continue was supposed to like happen every week that particular church event i think it was in preparation for a bigger event so it was like people were volunteering to people were volunteering to be part of the big event so the volunteers were supposed to have meetings together and you know every month just uh, every week rather just meet up and discuss about how the success of the program is going to be. So I met him and he was one of the volunteers and I'm like, oh wow, this guy is here. So <laughs> at first I was not even going to go again. Like I was like, no, 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 this guy is here. I'm not, I'm not going to like be part of this event. No, 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 no. I was not going to have anything to do with him. I was like done with him. But thank God I continued with the events. Thank God I continued. The big event proper happened, and before the event, the anchor of the of this event had like personal relationship with with every of the volunteers. He created a group so that we could like get to know each other. So one day he just posted up. I did it. No, I think one day I followed the anchor of this event somewhere, and was just asking me that ah, with my love life that hope i'm in a relationship hope i'm already thinking towards marriage regular nigerian mentality hope i was already thinking towards marriage who is my boyfriend like he just wanted to know and i was like oh that there was nobody serious at that time and he just said oh that even that if not because if not that he mentioned a few people's name and he mentioned the guy's name was like if not because this guy is already taken and his wedding is just around the corner it would have been good for you and i'm like which guy which guy like 
<laughs> which guy <laughs> but i didn't make it seem that way i was like oh really is it getting married and i was like yes it's getting married in it's getting married next year and i'm like really do you know his girlfriend he was like yes that he's engaged to his girlfriend to get married soon that he's even aware of the whole preparation going on i'm like okay <laughs> okay so guys anyways <laughs> after the whole event the event came and ended and everybody was still cool with each other on the group the group is still was still active i was still active on the group one day the guy just the anchor of the program just posted this guy and that girl that he usually put up on his whatsapp status he posted their picture together that please um a, a wedding is coming up and you know this wedding the guy is very active in our group please everybody should come around and you know just help help the wedding and like just rally around him and make sure everything is fine with him and when i saw the picture i just moved back i was like really this girl like even if it was even if it was a different girl if it was another girl i would have been cool with it but that particular girl that i was always asking about it was so not cool i was so heartbroken at that point in time like i became like heartbroken i was like no 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 no. why are guys like this why why are guys like this why are guys like this as in i was so sad but fine i was already in a relationship at that time too so i didn't really like get let it get to me but it was still sad that you know i was just it was just very sad and touching but <laughs> that has gone and it has come and it has gone and he has gotten married now actually like his wedding was just a few months ago or yeah a few months ago and i saw pictures you know i didn't bother congratulating him because the thing is still paying him is much more that you made me your side chick like why okay let me just tell you guys the reason why <laughs> the reason why he needed a side piece in nigeria his girlfriend at that the girl at that time was not living in nigeria like she was she was living abroad and he just needed someone on the side someone on the side and i happened to be the victim that was on the side but guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys loved this video because <laughs> i have a lot of gists if you love this video please comment in the comment section below tell me if you want if, if you want me to do more story times like this more story time videos like this and i will definitely hook you guys up like i have a lot of stories in store like i will just go and open the pots of story time and bring it out for you guys i have a lot of videos i have a lot of story time videos if you guys want me to drop them if you guys enjoyed this one and you want me to do more videos like this, please comment in the comment section below and let me know. And if there's any other video you want me to do, any suggestion you have for me, please drop it also in the comment section below. And if I can, I'll do them, you know? What am I here for? <laughs> so guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys watched to the end because if you didn't watch to the end, that means the video was boring. But if you're still here till now, you're the real MVP. Yeah, the real MVP. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you guys have subscribed already. I hope you click on that subscribe button there. Yeah, I hope you. I hope you've clicked on the subscribe button. Yeah, oh, yeah, somewhere there. That red box. That red subscribe box. Yeah, click on it. Click on it now. Click on it. Yeah, yeah. Click. Yeah. Then click. Click on that bell like button. Yeah, click on it. Click on it. Good. Good. Click. Oh wow. Thank you for subscribing and i hope you guys will watch my next video too thank you thank you i'm blabbing i'm talking so much thank you bye guys <laughs>